Hello everyone, welcome back to My Hero Academia Reading Text Stories. We're back at Deku and Rosary Vampire and we are now at part 9. So last time Deku got himself a new girl right after she broke up with another man, which of course it was Mocha Akashia, because she caught Skune doing the thing with Misery. Yes, apparently I've said her name wrong the whole entire time. It's not Mizor, it's Misery. I actually cannot believe that I said her name wrong the whole entire time at the beginning of the series. But let's continue. Now he gets bodied by three instead of two. Nezu's team is coming action soon and same goes with the League of Villains. Yeah, that's right. Nezu find out his ex is dating Midoriya and he send the squad over to watch Midoriya. Doria, and now he is on his way to Yokai Academy right after he damaged Todoroki's room and also poured all the soba all over the floor and everything. So enough talk, we're going to hop right in because I really want to see what's happening right now because this series is actually funny and hilarious. This is the time when Degu is waking up in the morning night. Waking up, my body feels I can't move. Sees the girls crushing his body as they sleep one on top and two on both sides. Now only that. I'm a father of four children. I have every and now sad noises. Waking up. Oh, morning, Izuku. Morning, can you help me? Noticed. Oh, sure. Help Sticky out without waking the other two. Thanks. No problem. I wonder what's happening with Skuni right now. Is he still sad? I know he's sad right now. Probably at his dorm room crying right now. Let's see. Today is Friday. I guess we still have school. Yeah. Well, I'm going on a walk for a bit. See you at school. Dress up and leaving. See you there at school. Night with the squad. Everything ready? Calling the others in their positions. Yes, ma'am. Good. The mission starts now. And I just got out of the hospital a few days ago. Yeah, because he got beat up by Kirigiri. Here's something behind her. Looks like I just arrived in time. Walking next to Lady Nagan. Oh, hello, Nezi. I guess you're joining us for this. Sees Nezi with a mini weapon. Indeed, how are things going? What is the mini weapon, by the way? Imagine it's a mini gun, but that's impossible. There's no way Nezi can carry a mini gun because it's so big, it's also very heavy to carry when you're in the battle with that weapon. You need like a lot of muscle strength to carry that mini gun. So far, Izuki Midoriya is just walking outside. Probably to get fresh air or something. I see. Sasuka, I'll make sure you won't have our student at all. Picks up a telescope and watch from afar. Night with Deku. Walking around and thinking. So far, nothing bad is happening in this school besides all about the monster transformation and love relationships. Besides, that new movie is probably the only thing that is bothering me. Maybe it has something to do with this school now. I guess that's the only problem. That also means that they should be coming here to attack. I should be prepared for them to come at the school. Here's something from the bush. What's that sign? Shit. I sprained my ankle again. What do I do? Goes over to the person. Wait, could it be Ruby? The other witch character and Rosary Vampire. Oh, that would be pretty cool if that is her. Um, and I would love to see her in the harem. Oh shit, I shouldn't let myself be spotted. About to run, but trips due to the ankle sprain. Wait, watch out. Catches the person. Oh, um, thank you. No worries. Puts the person down and checks the ankle sprain. Yikes. She probably need to go to the infirmary for a bit and get all better afterwards. Well then, let's get you to the realizes who the person is. Kendo? Surprised. Been a while, Midoriya. Kendo? What's she doing here? Is she with the squad as well? Wonder why is Kendo walking around Nokai Academy? I'm surprised that no one did not spot her. Why are you here and what's with the gear? SWAT armor and guns even more shocked as he sees it. Sweating intensely, I was worried. Oh well, you didn't have to bring out this amount of overprotective. I feel like this is suspicious. Oh well, you can never know what will happen. Shit, how do I get myself out of here? Getting a bit nervous with Lady Agant. That fool. Nezu, why did you even bring a student to the mission? Oh well, she is back up, I would say. Grins evilly. In the case Shizuka get past us, I have Kendo to get Midoriya in love and away from her. Back up. 
I don't know what you have in mind, but I guess this is fine. Confused. Kendo has a crush on Midoriya too. Not only Momo and Nedry, but Kendo as well. Midoriya sure is a true harem king after all. We should tell her that she can stay with Midoriya for a while. I guess that's fair, cause Kendo picks up the call. Yes, you stay with them and order from Nezi. The principal, okay, ends call. Can I spend time with the Midoriya? Oh sure, I guess. Guides her down the path. She will be fine though after all, because even though she may be a human with a quirk, and if they see her using her quirk, they will think that's her monster form. Things are according to plan. I just hope nothing bad happens. Silently laughing evilly on the inside with Deku and Kendo. This is my room that I'm staying at. Shows the dorm of his room. You can stay here since it's just me. Oh, alright. Yes, I can. Keep watch closely just in case. About to go in. Wait, are the girls not there? Oh shit. Enters and sees three girls on Degas' bed. I spoke to soon. He has three girls on him and one of them is the one that we have to keep her out of Degu. Stared in shock. Well, Midoriya, looks like you're busted. She find out and now she knows. I'm fucked. Well, goodbye world. I'm going to be caught as a pervert now. Wants to cry, cry on the inside. Why is there a teacher and students with no clothes? Stay calm. Nothing happened, right? I kind of slept with them. Okay, when she is quiet, I have a feeling that she is not happy. She might be angry. Sorry. Pause out an RPG rocket launcher and calls Lady the Gant. I have found the target. She is in Deku's dorm room. Where the frick did she get a rocket launcher? Where did she keep it? Where the hell did she keep a rocket launcher? What the fuck? Surprised and quickly goes in front of her. Hold on, calm down. We can talk about this. For a teacher and student to be together? Hey, hey, hey. Killing is not good for you though. Oh really? Why is this even happening? Where the heck did she get a rocket launcher? There's no way that she hid it somewhere around her gear. Like rocket launchers are so big weapons. There is no way that it's in her pocket or something. With Nezi and Lady Nagant, roger that. Insta call. The enemy is at Deku's dorm room. What? Oh, so that's how it's going to be now, huh? Goes in charging at three of the dorms. I got something for you now. How fast is Nezi now? You have three seconds to get out of line ready to pull the trigger. Is she insane? If she shoots a rocket launcher, then kaboom! Her and Midoriya and the three girls will be dead in the dorm room. Oh fuck, I'm dead. Now, waking up. What's going on? Ah shit, I'm not gonna even question. My life wants to get out of this, but I can't. Bust down the door and pulls out the small minigun out. Tezuka, you touch my shit. Sees what's going on. Josh dropped. Midoriya, what have you done? Sees the <laughs> three girls on the bed. I can explain. Wait, why are you here? Shit, this is going bad. I did not expect Midoriya. Sleep more than one girl. Sweating intensely. Nezi. Uh, hi, Shizuka. After calming down, clearing up the mess. So, let me get this straight. You guys came here because you thought Shizuka is taking me away from you guys. Well, yes. Oh, that explains why. Nezi thinks that Shizuka is taking Midoriya away because... Nezi thinks that Midoriya will not come back to UA since Shizuka is in love with Midoriya. I think you should think twice before jumping into conclusions fast. Right, sorry about that. No, it's fine. At least that's going well now. Hope nothing bad happens today. Meanwhile, waiting at the forest. Are they done yet? I haven't gotten, gotten a call from Lady Nagant. I think they forgot about us. Probably. Sad noises. Here's a sign. Did you hear that? What do you mean? Got his head torn off and died. What the? She's a new me. What's it doing here? And he died as well. Well, the League of Villains are here. Are we getting close to the end of the series or not? Looks like they put security up here as well. Looks like we're going in with a force now. Don't worry, we have over 300 Numus with us. Nothing will stop us. Indeed. So they brought in 300 Numus into Yoka Academy. Let's do this. Sorry Midoriya, but my girl is more important than you. Well that was part 9 of Deku and Rosary Vampire. <laughs> and that was crazy. Kendo just pulled out a rocket launcher, which I don't know where she got it from. Man, my guessing is she probably had a rocket launcher behind her back. Like, there's no way that she kept a rocket launcher in her pocket or something like that because she does not have a quirk called Pocket Dimension. If you don't know what that is, it's a pocket dimension where you can put 
anything like no matter how big it is into the pocket dimension and it will fit in there but there's no way that kindle has a quirk called pocket dimension and dabby and kamenari just brought in 300 new moves into yokai academy i don't know how are they going to win this battle they're going to be facing 300 new moves along with dabby and kamenari um midori did say that nezu is to not jump into conclusions is that he should have think twice before jumping into conclusions midori is right after all if I ever find out about something, I would have think twice about it instead of jumping into conclusions. Alright everyone, so I hope you enjoy this and make sure you leave a like and subscribe and I will see you all on the next video. Lee Hep is out.